All right, what's going on everybody? This is Peter Renna. I'm here to try to add something a little bit new and a little bit different to my channel. Now, normally I'm usually talking about uh, comic books and sometimes movies, but one of the other things you might have noticed in looking at my background is I do also enjoy toys. I obviously have since I was a kid, but I used to collect toys uh, almost as much or more than I did comics at one time. I've really fallen off as of late, so I am by no means an expert. But uh, a good friend of the site, CBSI, and a good friend of the channel, Ronin Khan, made a suggestion, noticing the toys I had up, that, hey, maybe somebody should be doing something, you know, talking about toys. So I liked the suggestion, and I decided to do something about it. So I'm going to try to do this new little quick video series where I'm going to give you, like, a top five list of uh, different series of toys, uh, at least to start, and then see where it goes from there. So... Again, I'm by no means an expert as far as the prices in the market goes. I am mostly just a collector because I enjoy I enjoy this stuff. Like, I'm not buying this mostly to resell it. I just like to have it to display. That's why I have these Star Wars Black series. But I've also been recently grabbing, you know, these G.I. Joe classifieds. I was a little wary at first because I'm a traditional three and three quarter guy. All of my hundreds and hundreds of Joes that I had growing up were all the smaller size, so I was a little hesitant to make this jump to the six inch when these first came out, but I've recently come on board and decided to uh, start grabbing some of these. So I don't have many as of yet. You can see I got Snake Eyes, I grabbed Cobra Commander there, and I got this uh, Red Ninja so far. That's what I'm able to find. So uh, with that little uh, premise and uh, preview, let's just go into the list. Now this list is basically the top five, I guess we want to say hottest uh, G.I. Joe classified toys that you can find. I'm going to go backwards from five to one. Basically, the biggest return on your investment if you can find these in your stores. I have yet to find a G.I. Joe classified figure in a store in a while now. Uh, I don't know exactly when they ran out, but a month or two ago, I used to see them, and I passed on them again because I was a little hesitant, but now that I want them, I've mostly had to track these down online uh, as some stores, you know, restock uh, with the online stores, but I haven't seen them on the actual shelves in a while, at least not the Targets and Walmarts and what have you near me. So hopefully you have better luck than I do, but uh, just going down this list. All right, let's just going to kick it off with number five. Number five is a Cobra Commander, the Snake Supreme uh, exclusive. I think this was released through the Pulse.com a virtual convention that Hasbro did, I think back in September. They had a couple of exclusives uh, for the G.I. Joe line, and this was one of them. It's a really cool take on the uh, Cobra Commander. He has the, you, know, you see he's got the little cloak there. Uh, I think they really should have went with the hood look for this one, personally. I think that would have been a, a nice little change, so it really stood out from the other Cobra Commander. But, um, hey, it's still pretty cool. Uh, I think it sold for $29.99 retail on their site, if you were able to order one. They're obviously sold out now, so you got to get it in the aftermarket. And right now, these things are selling for about $72 or so, 70 bucks. A lot of asks from the $68 to $150 range right now. If you go onto eBay and look, search, try searching for these things. But again, so if you were to pay 30 bucks and you could get a you know, return of 70 bucks, you're getting about 40 bucks profit off of this. So that's not too bad. Um, also, I sourced a lot of this pricing information from, uh, what is this site? This actionfigure411.com. So I suggest you check it out. There's a lot of good information there, a lot of pictures, a lot of things that is very helpful and help me put this together. I have no relationship with that site apart from I'm a fan. I like their layout. I like how things are laid out and put together so I can find this stuff quickly. I took some of the, the prices that I can find there to use some of my research, but I also had to do some manual stuff because some of the prices looked a little bit behind in some cases, so I had to do my own uh, little research there. But again, check it out if you want, want to see more there. So that was number five. Again, check it out. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, I do not have it. Uh, I might look to find one if I can find one cheap, but uh, at this point, I feel like I might have missed the boat, so you just kind of have to uh, you know, take it as it comes. So moving on, uh, I'm going to take a quick sip from my new G.I. Joe glass, and uh, we'll get to number four. And number four is the Baroness, which is an awesome figure. I saw this on the shelf once. At Target, it's a $39.99 retail because it comes with the motorcycle. I considered it, but I passed, thinking maybe later I should not have made that choice. I should have picked it up on the spot. I have not seen one since, and you can't find this one basically anywhere without paying a pretty decent premium. Again, that was a $39.99 buy-in. Average sales on that one are about you know close to $90. If you go on eBay and look right now, the listings are $99, you know, $99 to about. $350. I mean, some of them are kind of crazy prices, but I mean, there's always crazy prices out there, but that's what you'll find if you go looking right now. Uh, the high sale that I could find like in the last month or so is about 130 bucks, 
But again, average sales is close to 90. So if you would have bought this for 40 and you could sell it for like 88 bucks, you're making a good $48 profit pretty quickly. So that's a little bit better than the Cobra Commander Snake Supreme. So that's why I hit number four, but it's still not as good as what you can get moving on. But again, awesome figure. I really wish I had one. I'm going to look to do my best to find one for myself because it's just really cool looking if you, uh, you know, as you can see. But that said, uh, number three, uh, again, this is another $39.99. This is a deluxe figure. This is the Snake Eyes a Deluxe. Uh, it's pretty close to the uh, regular edition that I actually have and showed earlier here. It's just got a, a special box with a lot of little extras uh, included there. I had kind of hoped that they would have had timber in there. That would have been pretty cool, but no timber uh, to be found, I think, as of yet. But you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get one soon. But you can also see that it also has the different bask uh, for Snake Eyes there uh, from the regular one. So the deluxe figure is pretty cool. So $39.99 was the retail price. Again, sold out everywhere. You're not going to find it. I mean, it's averaging sales of just under 100 bucks. If you go on eBay, you can see some listed from like 80 all the way up to like $250. So... But again, with those average sales of about close to 100 bucks, if you could have got it for 40, you're hitting more of like a $60 profit. So that's not too shabby there either. Now, that's number three. Moving on to number two. Number two is another, from what I gathered, from a little bit of research I was able to do, another Pulse, uh, PulseCon uh, exclusive, possibly. I haven't seen it released anywhere else unless this is a variant that you can find out in the stores. And this is the Cobra Commander, but it's the Regal variant. Basically... It's the light blue version that you can find from the original three and three quarter, like that light blue. Instead of this more of a navy blue style uh, look in the regular edition you can find on shelves, it's the bright blue version of that same figure. So it's basically just a little variant. Uh, so again, I don't know if you can find that like that on shelves or if you had to get it through uh, that PulseCon, but that's where I could find it. The only place I could really find it, again, sold out. It was only a $20 figure, $19.99 buy-in, but that thing is selling also for about $90 bucks right now. So if you could have got it for $20 and sell it for $90, that's well, a little over $70 profit. You look right now, uh, price, asking prices are uh, you know, $90 to $110. There was a high $150 sale somewhere in there you know, within the last month or so, but that would have been a pretty good return too. So that's why it ended up at number two, that Regal variant, I guess, of the Cobra Commander, which will then take us to our G.I. Joe classified figure. And surprisingly, it's not some Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, even Cobra Commander, Zartan, Destro. Tons of really cool figures throughout this line. So outside of this list of the five, there's a lot of good stuff to be found in this run. Uh, I'm going to go out and get whatever I can to kind of complete the series, if possible. Uh, but number one was surprising to me, and it's the Cobra Trooper. I remember that first figure in that initial G.I. Joe run, and it was just basically the throw-in kind of bad guy, the henchman type. Just the navy blue Cobra character. But here, you can't find it anywhere. Uh, also, listed, the only place I could really see it listed was Pulse. So I don't know if that's the only place it was available. I never saw one on shelves. But again, I wasn't looking. So I'm not an expert. I wasn't hunting these when they first came out. I'm late to the party. I'm just seeing what's out there now. But again, that's a $19.99 buy-in. But that's selling for a little over $100. Bucks. Well, like over $110 bucks right now. A lot are listed right now for about $120 to $140. So if you could get it for 20 and you're turning it for 110, you're making a $90 profit on that. So that makes that the top, I guess, top one on the list right now. Uh, again, it's pretty cool. You can see there's a high sale of a little over $150 within the last month or so as well. This figure is in demand. It may be a standardized henchman figure, almost like a stormtrooper, but it's not, it's not out there. I, again, I haven't found it, but, and it is still a really cool figure and I'd love to have one, uh, to put up behind me on my shelf. So again, that's my top five list, hot five list, however you want to look at it. But the top five toys for this GI Joe, you know, classified series. As far as right now, uh, things can always change. There's uh, new figures coming our way, you know, as we speak. A lot of pre-orders, a lot of restocks coming. So maybe we get lucky and some of these high-priced figures become easier to find, uh, almost like the AEW figures which were super uh, super hard to find at first, but now that restocks are starting to hit, prices have started to come down. And uh, that may be bad for collectors uh, who are looking to turn a profit to make you know, some speculation moves, but for a co true collector who just wants it for themselves, it is very helpful to find these toys close to retail, at least if we can find them now that these restocks are coming in. So hopefully you guys like this new series that I'm gonna try to do, because again, I like toys almost as much as I like comic book 
So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit more stuff with toys just you know, for my uh, YouTube channel here because there's no accompanying article to go with this to hit CBSI. But I still recommend you go check out comicbookinvest.com because that's where I write most of my stuff and there's a lot of great comic content there. And comics, toys, all this stuff, it, it all blends together. So uh, please check out the site, check out my channel, like, subscribe. I'm going to have more. Set the alerts. Uh, the more stuff like this that you like, I mean, hit me with suggestions. As you can see, I take suggestions. People make comments. I like them. It's a good idea. I'm going to do it. So please make comments, make suggestions. I'm here to try to just provide entertainment and have fun. All this stuff should be fun. Collecting comics, collecting toys. Uh, it's, we need more fun. We need more fun on this hobby. A lot less of this uh, cutthroat uh, cutthroat mentality and just uh, have, make it a community. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you all next time.